Hey everybody, uh, just wanted to do a bit of a quick update video and say hello, just tell you what's going on. So I've got a couple of things which are my um, latest things that are going on uh, that I'm not quite sure what I'm more excited about. So one of them, you might see a clue behind me there, but the other one was yesterday I got this letter. Do -do -do. Very excited means my order of uh, the King of DIYs book is on its way to me, and then today, even more exciting, boom! It arrived. Very happy. Um, very sad to be this happy about getting a book through the post, but I am. I've been following Joy's videos for a long time, uh, but obviously here in the UK, I've never been able to buy the book. You could get the PDF version, but. The whole idea is that I wanted a book because I wanted to be able to sit and reference something while I'm destroying my tank or my stand or whatever it is, rather than having to keep scrolling back through uh, YouTube videos to find the bit that where he talks about what you're meant to be doing at that specific stage. So it's here. I'm not quite sure why the letter came yesterday, and it also came with a load of decals, um, one of which you'll see down there. Um, it's a bit strange actually, that's the only tank in the house, I've got nine, ten tanks in the house, all of which have some element of DIY, and this one's the only one that doesn't, so obviously I'll stick it on that one. But anyway, yeah, so more decals, so they'll be going on the car, or laptop, or whatever it is, or some of the other tanks. But yes, very happy. The letter came yesterday which made me think, oh, they must be sending the book by a different method or something, then this turned up today. So that's my Christmas present, but don't tell my wife, because that's also my Christmas present. So I might just keep this secret and say it's educational. Don't don't count that as a present. But it's very good. I've already had a quick uh, skim through today. I'll probably be putting some bits to use on this tank. The skimmer, auto top off. I'll probably have a go at them. But yes, very happy. I've been, I've been hounding them for months on all these live chats saying when are you going to ship to the UK, when are you going to ship to the UK, it's not that hard, it's 20th century, ship to the UK and finally got the announcement they were shipping to the UK and ta-da, it's here. So very happy with that. The other um, big news I guess is this thing behind me. Um, I'm going to have a go at keeping marine fish rather than just discus or other tropical fish. I mentioned it in one of my other videos recently that I'd be doing it, but yes, here's the tank. It's up and running, filling with water as we speak. Um, not 100% sure about this whole marine business so far. It's proving quite expensive and quite challenging. But I should be used to that with discus. Expensive and challenging, that's kind of the my watchwords. Um, so I shall do a proper series on this and all the things that I'm doing to get it going and what I'm planning to keep in it and all that but basically it has to have a Nemo because my five-year-old daughter's very insistent that it has a Nemo um, but I really want to keep corals so it'll be a coral tank for me um, but yes yeah, a great tank got it off eBay second hand very happy with it no scratches whatsoever seems rock solid and um, like I say I'll do a full video over it about me setting it up and all the things that's causing me issues so far but so today's issue for instance is oh I've got this stuff and this is so this is the aquarium salt and what's indicative of the rest of my experience in marine so far is I can't even figure out how to open the bloody bucket it's just it's not only child safe it's adult safe it seems to be human proof um, yeah, so that's had me stumped for about 10 minutes so far because it's only just arrived, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Oh. Um, another new toy I've got, which looks like some kind of probe, but is in fact a refractometer, or a refractometer, depending where you come from. Pretty sure it's refractometer. Um, yeah, so a couple of drops on there measures the salinity of the water, make sure you've got the salt water right. But I've been basically immersing myself in all the forums and Facebook groups for marine keeping for beginners to learn as much as I can and oh, it's another world. So much more to learn. Um, 
I'm trying to keep everything simple at first, but I will no doubt have my own little tweaks and get into all kinds of trouble and expense, no doubt. But yes, that's that's what's going on here. So this is my office, this is where I work. Um, so this will be right next to me, um, which will be quite good, hopefully. I've got also um, my big display tank, which you'll have seen in many other videos. That's four foot by a foot and a half by two foot. I've been around some custom builders, uh, one of them very local. Really liked some of the stuff that he had put together and got some quotes worked up for a five by two by two, which will be my new display tank, which will be for my 40th birthday next year sometime. Well, I know exactly when it is, it's in July, but where, when I get the tank is what I'm not quite sure of. Um, I'm going 5x2x2 two by two purely because my living room's upstairs and that's where my display tank is and I don't think I can get anything bigger up the stairs. Um, but it will be a custom job with sump. Um, it's going to be for discus, unless this really takes off and then it might have to be marine, but uh, I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence at the moment. might even have to change the channel's name to, I don't know, Fish Newbie. I don't think I'll ever be an expert, I'll always be a newbie of some kind. Um, and I'll always keep discus, whether it's in the garage or in my office or in wherever it will be. So I don't know what to do, but yes, very expensive. Um, yeah, I was kind of budgeting. I was off by my budgeting by about 50% or so. Um, and then I took my wife along to see the guy and we picked out some of the wood and she obviously chose the most expensive cladding that you could get for the tank. So that added on another well, near enough another 500 quid. Um, so yes, that'll be an expensive project, but at least it's kind of on paper it's there and it's budgeted for and something to look forward to. Um, but still got the tanks downstairs, no problems there, everyone's happy. I can't stop the bloody Cabrensis breeding. Um, so if anybody's in Sheffield and wants some Cabrensis, please come and get them. Um, free to a good home, etc. I've got my new discus, which you might have seen a couple of months ago, so they've been going through quarantine and moved in. So I think my next video will be about my quarantine process and how I've moved them around and what I've been doing for them. So they'll, they'll ultimately be going into my display tank at the moment and that should be happening quite soon. And that's really about it for the moment. I'm really busy with work so I've not had as much time to do my fishy stuff as I would have liked to. Um, but you'll have noticed I entered a few competitions recently and made some friends with some guys on YouTube, guys and gals, both sides of the pond. Um, quite glad about the, the community spirit that's there. It's not, it's, not, it's not like Facebook where it's just all arguing and shouting and proving how much better you are than someone else. Everyone seems to be quite helpful, which is nice. Um, so if I can return the favour to anyone out there, if you've got any questions on any of the things I'm doing or even any advice, I'm quite happy to take it. Um, yeah, get in touch, leave some comments, like the videos, share the videos, subscribe, all that business, uh, all helps. And I'll get back to you soon with a new video. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye bye.